don't know what to say. It's been three long days since I sat in front of a camera. For that, I went 189 days straight. Getting on here, recording my journey every single day. And yeah, I needed that break. I'm not going to lie. Um, so yeah, in this video, I'll be showcasing my first full stack project. Uh, for all the people that watch my coding journey videos, I started this on day 131. So if you guys want to see the start of this project, just go to that video and check it out. And it's actually crazy, man. I started this project two months ago and I'm just now finishing it. Uh, you know, I got more time. You know, I can finish these projects as fast as I can now. I don't have to record every single day anymore and, you know, worry about content, you know, what I'm going to record for that day and all of that stuff. So, yes, yeah, so let's take a look at this full stack e commerce site. Let's take a look at the homepage and then we'll start getting into some features. I used uh, Next.js, I used TypeScript, Zistan, Tailwind, Prisma. A railway I used a bunch of stuff on this project but uh yeah so let's take a little quick look at it first so right off the rip our nav bar changes colors once we start scrolling which I thought was a pretty good feature to add and uh, we got a sales section we got a newsletter we got men collection woman collection and we got our blog and we got our footer all right, so let's start testing out some of these features. So I spent most of my time working on, you know, the back end. Wasn't really focused on, you know, the front end of this project because um, I just really wanted to put, you know, my back end skills to the test. Uh, so, you know, I got a cart feature. I got a wish list. I got payments. Uh, I got a user dashboard as well. So, um, yes, yeah, take a quick look at everything. So first things first, as you can see, we're not logged in. It just says log in or sign up. So, um... Let's try to add something to our wish list. As you can see, we get an error that says must be signed in. So let's go ahead and sign in. Sign in. Uh, I'm going to sign in with Facebook. And I should be already. Um, my Facebook is already logged in. So it just automatic automatically does it. You don't have to type in any credentials or anything. But as you can see, once we logged in, we got my image there, my Facebook image of me and my daughter. And uh, we got access to our cart and our wish list, which is, which is the heart. So now when we add to wish list, we get the green uh, arrow, like I was about to say error message. We get the green uh, message saying, you know, it's been added to the cart. But when we try to add it again, we get the red message saying, you know, it's already in our wish list. And we add that to our wish list and let's add that one. And let's check our wish list and they're all there. So we can either remove it. And now our wish list is empty. So now let's test out the cart feature. Let's go ahead and add the cart. As you can see, we get the confirmation that is added. I'm gonna we'll add that to cart. And now when we try to add it again, we get the red error message saying, you know, it's already in our cart. And same with these, add all of this to our cart as well. So now let's check our cart. And we got all our caps there. We got our total. And then we can uh, increment and our total increases and then we can also decrement and once we get hit zero it deletes i was thinking about actually adding a remove button as well but i figured you know you could just click on um get to zero and then it just deletes itself i think that's better let's add everything back to cart and let's test out the checkout now so this is the cool part so let's go ahead and check out click checkout and we get a nice little Lottie animation getting your order ready and let that it's gonna take a quick it's gonna take a second I don't know why it does this stripe come on stripe don't let me down don't let me down I'm recording a video there we go Woo, I was about to do a quick edit like cut <laughs> but uh yeah so there it goes um we got a stripe thing there and we got our checkout form so i'm just going to go ahead and type in a fake number and i don't think i showed you guys the database yet all this is getting tracked by the way so i'm gonna do uh one two three four five and then once we click pay now we get processing and then we get our order confirmed little animation there i probably should have made that a little bit bigger now that i see it all right so now that now that that's complete now let's head over to the database where all this is getting tracked. So we go to order. As you can see, the order we just made is right there for $60. 
and uh, we also track our users in this as well so let's go to account I'm not that let's go to user and as you can see there's uh, my Facebook email and it's my image and we also get like a user ID as well and a uh, product here is uh, everything that's been sold so all this is getting tracked as well and now let's head over to stripe where we actually made the payment and this should update as well so maybe i just gotta refresh so the order was 60 dollars so let's see if it shows on stripe come on come on computer you can do it buddy i need a new computer bad all right so there we go 61 uh 96 and that is our order we just made so um that's that and also let's say we want to check our orders let's head over to our profile which is our user dashboard and this is where we can check all of our orders that's been made and there we go so that's the one we just made for 60 dollars and uh you know bad bunny cap pirate cap naruto naruto cap and you want to know the the crazy part about this is i can actually turn this into an actual store and make some profit from it because all the pro products that i use are actual uh products from aliexpress so if i hit over to aliexpress right let's check these are the products that i use product men so i'm getting these hats for $3.99 and I'm selling them on this site for $20 what's that $16 profit right there so um you know I can actually open this store it's a good idea right <laughs> uh but yeah so that's really about it um it's not like I said I didn't spend too much time styling it I was just really focused on the back end and um getting everything to work on it but uh yeah we got a wish list I'm trying to think is there anything else we got a uh, cart and we got uh, some authentication where everything has been tracked inside of our database on railway. And uh, yeah, I put a lot of time into this. I'm actually working on another full stack project right now. It's going to be a tutorial. I'm putting a lot of time into that. And uh, but it's packed with even more features. Um, I probably should show you guys, but um, I'm just going to just probably wait. But it is packed with a ton of features, man. It's crazy. I put I'm putting so much time into that project. But uh, yeah, this is my first full stack project. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, it's not deployed yet. Uh, I had some issues deploying it last night and um, it kind of I kind of got annoyed at it. So I'm um, going to probably try to deploy it tonight or something. But yeah, that's really it for me today. Um, I will see you guys next video. Peace.